So Elise actually linked me to this game, and I contacted the game creator, and he said it's okay if I make videos of it, uh, even if I'm cursing and stuff like that. I'm going to personally try and tone it down a little bit just for this video, but uh, yeah, you guys have to see this game. And for those of you uh, that are randomly searching on YouTube or something like that, and I don't know, you're like a mom or a dad or something like that, and you randomly, you know, heard about this game and you wanted to watch a video playthrough or something like that, please heed the warning that I put at the beginning of this video. I am very likely going to be using curse words in this, so just note that. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say anything during this intro. I do, you guys got to see this. So we started on LSD. I started doing weird games with LSD. Maybe Umihara Kawase. Maybe that's where it all started. But then we went from LSD to Eastern Mind to a whole bunch of other weird games. Then we stepped it up a little bit, going to Revenge of the Sunfish. And now, now we're on this. And I just, I just am telling you guys, you're, you're going to have your mind blown. I have to agree. I'm pretty sure. So you click on the rainbows that go from thing to thing, and oh, you, you can actually interact with. <laughs> Good lord, I don't even know what to even say about this game. Hi, Orange Boy. My name's Sissy. Me, my baby. Do you like pony coins? Me, my baby. Me too. Got any John? It's like, it's like I have a perpetual Captain, like, you know that uh, picture that everybody's seeing of, like, Captain Carter, like, face palming? It's like I have that right now, and man, referencing Star Trek right now really makes me feel like just, that, that's just a poor picture of reference. Anyways... I'm pretty much permanently doing that right now, but not because this game sucks, but just because my mind is blown at this game in general. Just wait. I see new rainbows. <laughs> I'm an evil lemon. You're bad because you're a lemon. Now I will squirt lemon juice in your eye, and that stings. Oh no, what will I do? By the way, this is the reason that Elise linked me to this game. It's because there's a fucking lemon in it. And it's evil. And those of you who are frequent followers know that I really like lemons. So, yeah. I don't even know what to even say about this. Hmm. This side shows a little girl leaving to go get a coconut. And something is underneath there that looks like a rat. Or a light bulb. I can't even tell which. Or like a di or like a transistor diode thing. I don't know what those are even fucking called. I got the key. Okay, it's yeah, a key. Baby. Stay away. Well, he seemed a little bit pissed off. Also, his voice reminds me of uh. Stay away. His voice reminds me of um. Oh my god, who's that one character? It reminds me of Dick Dastardly. That's what it reminds me of. The guy from uh, Wacky Races, where he's like, nah, nah, nah. That's what it just completely reminds me of the first time I heard that. Sir, I am a tiger, and I am going to eat this pony corn. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> is your mind blown yet? Because I hope it is. I hope your mind's blown. I hope I hope like the me playing LSD in Eastern Mind like trained you for stuff like this. I hope it did. I got a coconut. I'm going to eat that pony corn. <laughs> Sounds like she barked. I 
I don't even know what the fuck this thing is. I put pony cords in cages. You shouldn't do that. But I totally am. Why are all the villains in this game, why do all the villains in this game have like a dick dastardly voice? That or they sound like, like I guess imagine them all to have like huge mustaches that are like curly. I just imagine them to have huge curly mustaches. And for those of you that have huge curly mustaches in real life, not mean to be insulting of you there or say that you're automatically villains, but you got to admit that kind of follows a stereotype there. You might want to shave those. <gasps> okay, why can't I use the key? It's the key. I'd like to use it. Well, I guess I can't use it here on purple face. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Do you love pony corn? Yes, I do. But I'm upside down. And then that voice sounds exactly like, uh... <laughs> it sounds exactly like somebody else, too, from some, like, famous cartoon. Can you click on this? What a delightful butterfly. See, I flipped you over. Thanks. Here's a pony cord. That's gonna drive me insane now. He sounds exactly like somebody I've heard before. And, uh, it's, it's gonna drive me nuts now because he sounds exactly like somebody from some cartoon. And please, in the comments, post if you can... Oh my god, it's like right there on the tip of my tongue, and I can't remember who it is. Fuck. Oh, this is gonna drive me insane. I swear to god, I've heard that voice before. You're welcome. Do you like socks? Not really. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> the dialogue in this reminds me of one of those games I made when I was a kid. I actually made a whole bunch of games when I was a kid, when I was about uh, eight or nine years old with uh, Multimedia Fusion and Click and Play. I should put some of those up sometime. Some of you who see my stream when I still have one uh, have seen those games. That's gonna drive me insane now that I can't remember whose voice that is. I mean, it's not the same person, I just I just can't remember who it is. So you go in here and I think you use the coconut on this dude. No, you don't. I don't even use either one. What the hell am I doing? I can't even do anything with this guy. I think I used the coconut. No, I, I got the coconut from here. Why would I even need that? Do I use the coconut here? What the hell do I do? I don't want to do anything to that guy. He's my friend. Or Oh, I didn't mean to go in there. I meant to go in here. Oh, okay. Damn, you got knocked out. Interestingly enough, coconuts, uh, or at least coconut milk, actually makes me kind of sick to the stomach. So there you go. I guess if you like lemons, you can't have coconuts. I like to pit. What do I do? I got the green pony cone. I put it in a jar. And it's a flower, which apparently I can't interact with. This is just, this is just nuts, though. I already, I already talked to Turtle Guy here. Fuck him. Uh, now can I use, wait, what? And I am going to turn you into a mouse. You do not. Bam, magical palette. Oh, yeah. I do have to kind of wonder if, like, some of these lines are scripted because, I mean, come on. I don't think any I don't think any five year old's gonna know the uh, catchphrase. How do you like them apples? Then again, I don't know some of the stuff that's on TV and stuff like that. You know, I don't even know anymore. So. It's the key. I use my key to open the dinosaur's cage. I got the purple pony because I put it in a jar. If you guys' minds aren't blown yet, I don't even know what to even say. Close your eyes, Tiger. Wow, that was pretty much the easiest pony corn theft ever. That tiger's a dumbass. 
Oh, oh shit, I'm hearing going. voices in my head. Orange boy reminds me of a uh, really Apple kid in Earthbound. But I changed him to Orange boy. I wanted to make sure you were nice to pony corns. I am the last pony corn. Put me in a jar, sissy. I got the orange pony corn. I put it in a jar. I think this has to be the least commentary I've ever done in a video because, you know, it's like, what do I even say? What do I even say in this video? What do I even need to say? And the tiger turned night, but the lemon is still evil, and the dinosaur is still a mouse. That poor dinosaur. Mind fucking blown. Forever. It's gonna take a lot to top that. I think I think we have journeyed far beyond LSD, Eastern Mind, and Revenge of the Sunfish. I think we have far surpassed those and left those. And now I don't even know what I could even put on my channel now to surpass this and just absolute randomness. I can't possibly think of anything. I think that's it. I think this is this is the singularity. This is it. The end.